Hi, my name is Miles. I'm the GM of the South End, location of place to be. Let me show you inside. What makes the South End location unique? We are full service, so you will have servers taking care of you, whatever you need. This location is a little bit more family oriented. It's kind of a mix of all the locations where you have day parties, you have more relaxed vibes. It's kind of cool in between. Um, you'll see a lot of kids, you'll see a lot of teenagers and a lot of adults. And uh, in the morning we like to serve our uh, firefighters, our police officers. So you see a whole bunch of different people in this, this location. Sounds great, but what about your menu? The food here is very Instagrammable. That's our key goal. Look, aesthetic, and taste. We like the quality, we like the taste, and it keeps people coming back. You know, you don't get this type of service everywhere where either you get something that looks nice, it's not so great, or it tastes great, it doesn't really look nice, but we meet that fine middle, and that's something that we really take pride in. Now this location, we do have something called the South End Special that no other location has, um, which keeps our regulars coming back. On this menu, I would say, my go-to's would be the Southern Quesadilla. I like that a lot. Um, our breakfast nachos, rather new, but cloud pleaser, real big cloud pleaser. Um, and then, let's see, probably go with a Cali burger. Mix it up, we have a lot of breakfast and lunch items. People think we're just a breakfast spot, but we hold a lot of mixed lunch and uh, breakfast as well. Nice to another unruly video. If you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know we post if you're a returner. What's popping? Today I'm at the place to be. However, I'm in their south end location. Located at 615 Franklin Avenue, Hartford, Connecticut, this was one of the first place to be locations. And as you heard from Miles, this is more of a family oriented space where you can come in, sit down, enjoy your time, but still keeps the up high class of the aesthetics that place to be always has in the running and while other places do have the pay and go system you will have a server here as miles just spoke about and it was it's totally a different experience but you get to learn um as you go to these different locations about what they're all about and as i've learned that this place is definitely family oriented and gives you more of a formal vibe let's dive right in no wasting time today and Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna do the drink my bath water and of course they have the get wet sign right here. Okay, go folks, let's get wet. Jokers. Is it? They put a shit, a, a shit ton of liquor in here. And I don't think, I don't think it's necessarily hard liquor, but it's more your champagne, wine, and those things. But of course, you, you know how wine gets us. You know how that gets. You get a little, you get a little tipsy, you get a little nice, feeling warm. You see, might want to do some activities after you drink this, but this certainly can be drank by two, I think two. It's not as big as the big ass mimosa as we had in West Hartford, but definitely still big, of course, to be shared between you and whoever you brought here. Comes with two of these ducks, as you see. And I believe, I, I would think, their ducks are their flagship. That's their, that's their, um, their, what do they call them? Their champion. This bathtub drink is definitely one of the drinks that you should get. If you're not gonna get the big ass mimosa, if you're not gonna get the, the booty call, get the bath water and drink it. All right, so now we have the cappuccino with the Baileys, as you can see. Same duck, same ducks here. And let's take the Baileys, crack that open. Right on, my friend. If you know me, I love, I love, 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 love coffee. Love to die. I have a thousand dollar coffee machine in my house. So, we'll see. We'll see how this hitting off. That's the one. Come in here, regular Saturday morning, grab this. You get a nice warm sensation, of course, because it's coffee. You get the kick from the caffeine, and then you also get the, just the aesthetics of 
place to be making this sort of drink. So I definitely recommend this drink if you love coffee. I'm a coffee lover. And this cappuccino is cracked. I prefer this one out of every, just because I love coffee, but it's all up to you. So you just gotta try it out. Let's move on to the cotton candy cocktail. This is the cotton candy cocktail. Beforehand, it looked like this. Now it looks like this because we poured it on top of the cotton candy. Everything kind of just went down as cotton candy does. And so they give you a paper straw. And I know some of you on that last post got upset about the plastic. Look, we have paper straws this time. You get what I'm saying? So let's jump right into this drink here. It comes with some Prosecco. And that's what they poured on top. So let's just dive right in. If you're looking for something very sweet, this is the drink for you, point blank period. Cotton candy there, all of that is sugar just sitting at the bottom of the, the drink on top of the Prosecco that gives you the sparkle. They put a little um, cotton candy, cotton candy um, dust or trim around the rose. It's garnished with a strawberry. And then we got our little duck friend that's in this drink, but also in every other drink that they gave me today. So. Put him back. Bamba <coughs> club. Jan was there. Today, what we're going to do is give you a breakfast scenario. So we're at the south end, and so what I thought was perfect was, let's try breakfast. What does breakfast look like at Place to Be? So right here in front of us, we have the peaches and cream pancakes. Been following me for a while, you know I love, 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 love pancakes. So I'm gonna give you one of these cuts closer to home for you. Let's get a healthy bite. Oh shit. You see the peaches and cream um, oatmeal that you get from what? Quaker Oats, the little packets that you sprink, that you shake. That's literally what it just tastes like, but more fresh and more quality. Pancakes, fluffy, whipped cream, creamy as hell. And you see, there's a lot of, they have a lot of syrup or peaches cream, like the peaches sauce around it, but it didn't soak into the pancakes. And these pancakes have been here for about five minutes. What I also can appreciate is the fact that they put peaches not only on the top as a garnish, but also within, they layered it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's a layered inside the pancake stack, which is just more, more points for them. Look at that. It don't get no better than that. I'm telling you. Peaches and pancakes and whipped cream on a Saturday morning on an empty belly after your ass was partying all night. And you come here and you get some more drink and pancake. What more could you ask for? I'm telling you. Why do you think I'm doing all the locations? You think the food would be bad if I was doing all the locations? No. This right here, crack. Pancakes the first time with the red, white, and blue, crack. I don't know how much, uh, how much more convincing you need on a pancake. So these pancakes, fuck a IHOP. Place to be, only. But we can't get caught up on the pancakes. Let's move on to the next dish. We have the churro French toast. It comes with a nice churro on top, as you can see, garnished with strawberries, whipped cream, chocolate chip bites, sugared on top of the French toast, a nice carton of um, maple syrup. So let's just dive in and see what it's hitting for. Because I'm telling you, if it's anything like them pancakes. We got the piece of the churro off, let's get into the French toast. It's definitely coated with some sugar which is fine because you know i got a sweet tooth for y'all that know me you know i am not a chocolate guy this right here this is crack don't get it twisted bro i don't like french toast either but that crust even the crust on the outside so what i did was i cut a piece of the crust off of the other one and a piece of the middle off of the inside one and so the inside's fluffy. Almost, now I wouldn't say creamy, but fluffy. And then you get the crust from the outside and the crust is filled with sugar. Then you have the chocolate syrup, followed with some whipped cream. Now what more could you ask for? My days, I don't even, yo. Let me just get another bite, look at that. It's about. 
although there's so much going on, like we have syrup going on, we got chocolate sauce going on, we got whipped cream going on. All of these things that you would think would make a pastry soggy, it's not making them soggy because they're cooked per perfectly. And they, I promise you, they've been sitting here for about five minutes because I had things we were working between. And it's not soggy. Still got crunch. Wow. What I would say if you're gonna come for breakfast and get something big like this, pick one, grab one drink, and grab the omelet. And the omelet is what we got up next, so let's move on to the next item. What we got now is a California omelet. What's in this California omelet is grilled chicken, I believe, um, as the protein, and it comes with some bread. Let's get a healthy bite out of this. I'm gonna cut right from the third here. Get another cut there. We won't put any ketchup on it for the first bite, and you see that second bite. And it comes with some home fries. You see there? You know when you cook eggs and it gets a little brown and you can taste the burn if you leave it on there too long? We don't have that issue here. This avocado spread right on top. It has the purple, the purple onions, the chicken's in there. Perfect amount of seasoning. I don't know what more you want to add to this. There's nothing you really need to add. The omelet was great and it comes with everything you need. So imagine, you come in a place to be, you're confused, you don't know what to get. They have a scan your, scan your phone, look at the menu on your, on your handheld. What do you get? You can get the California omelet, it comes with bread, and it's a full omelet with chicken, and it comes with hash browns at the bottom, or home fries at the bottom, complemented with some ketchup. And then you get the cappuccino, you know what I'm saying? the cappuccino to, to, to swallow, to bring it down. I don't understand what more you would need for that. You come in here, you get this, and you'd be full by the time you walk out of here. And you can even take this home and get some pancakes and bring it home to your booty call. So when she come home at like 3 a.m. and I want peace, they can't get our peace, and then you feed her. See how that works? Now everybody wins. Overall, they have it down packed. There's nothing you can order here that they don't like, they don't have. If you want something protein filled, omelet. You want something more fluffy, pancakes. You want something more sugary, French toast sticks. I don't know what more you want. You want to get drunk, you get lit with the drinks. We got the bath water, we got the cotton candy, we got the booty call, we got the boozy milkshake, we got the... It doesn't end, it just doesn't end. So when you come here, what I advise you to do is come in with an intention to either get something sugary, something that's gonna get you drunk, something that's gonna fill your belly, or all of them. So the South End, I have to say, hats off to you. This omelet is cracked. Your pancakes blew me away. They were fluffy per usual. And what I really was impressed by was the French toast. This French toast right here, chef, I'm telling you, is the one. I hate French toast. Like hate it with a pat. Everyone who knows me, I hate French toast. That I would eat, the whole thing. I would eat the whole thing if I would. I, I'm telling you right now, that is great. So come here, you'll have options and you'll get whatever you need. So I thank you all for joining me today on this review at Place to Be South End. And I hope to see you all on the next video as we're gonna review another place to be because they're just on a roll right now. So we're gonna roll with it. You only gonna see that here at Unruly Eats. Have a great day. Cooking at home or going out? Cooking at home. Favorite cocktail? Whiskey ginger. What should not be missing from your kitchen? Air fryer. Favorite snack? Cheese it snap. Favorite breakfast? Breakfast, uh, waffles. Sweet or savory? Savory. Favorite food blog? Unruly eats. What's on your food bucket list? Oh, uh, let's see. The spicy hot sandwich, Nashville hot sandwich. Favorite pizza topping? Mozzarella. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, frog.